This is the most current moment in world history. Right now. Whether you have a voice now or a voice later, people are looking for someone that always has a voice. My name is Alita Clark and I'm an activist from Chicago. The moment that we forget to keep talking, to keep fighting, that is the moment we are rolled over. My name is Greg Storms. I work at Center in Halstead. My title is Director of Youth Services. It's one thing uh, to hear about children being separated from their parents, or it's one thing to know that police kill black people. It's another thing to see those physical bodies, right? My name is Daniel Williams. I'm a performing artist, educator, facilitator, organizer, and I'm a co-founder of the Let Us Breathe Collective. If you understand better where you are, then you can begin to navigate where you're going a little better. My name is Bella Boss. I am the founder of the Sister Survivor Network, co-founder of the Decarceration Collective. I often hear that there's a lot of problems and the only silver lining in that is that there are so many more solutions to be made. My name is Malcolm London. I'm a poet, rapper, educator, and organizer from the west side of Chicago. I think Trayvon Martin was a huge political moment for the world, but it's not to be viewed as the only moment. No justice, no peace. People were still dying by the hands of police before Trayvon. People were still being arrested before Trayvon. People were still being deported before Trayvon. And that moment, I think, a lot of steam was let out of folks who were fed up and who were reminded on national television that their lives did not matter. I see this moment in history as a particularly vibrant time for youth activism. There is a new feeling to it. Young people have grown up with a new perspective and worldview um, that does not allow us to be still, that does not allow us to accept just because we are told to. We're about to run the country. It's our time right now. Right, everything that we want to see happen in the world, we have time to make it happen. I'm a real activist. I don't just wait for bad things to happen. I'm always on the front line. True activism is consistency. Anybody can come out when the camera's out. Anybody can come out when something bad happens. But who's willing to stay out? Our abilities to connect, our abilities to mobilize so much quicker than in generations past, I think has shaken us or heating us up to a boiling point where change is the only possibility. Before Ferguson, I, uh, I didn't consider myself an activist in, in any way. Both my parents were incarcerated when I was a baby. Uh, my mother went to prison right after I was born. My father went to prison right before I was born. I was just broken, you know, I wasn't around my biological mother. I couldn't understand why she didn't want me. Then the only person I did love died. And then the person that was left to take care of us didn't care for us. Uh, it just changed my life and then led towards continuing to do this work. For folks younger than me, I would say there's a lot of pressure in trying to solve the world's problems. But nothing will change if, if tomorrow we do nothing. We cannot tolerate. We need to also be evaluating how we have internalized these systems and internalized some of these ideas. And in recreating and transforming ourselves, inevitably we will recreate the world around us. That looks like taking the streets. That looks like building new spaces for creativity and performance. I think that you can be an activist in your kitchen, right? cooking meals for your family. I think that you could be an activist on your block, right? Making sure kids get to school safely. This is black history that we are making. We are black history, it's in the making. For me, activism is, is more about what you do with what you have, right? And how you're trying to use that to improve the world in some way. You know, even if it's just the world to you, it's just your neighborhood. I would challenge Generation Z to be the most impactful generation the world has seen. How do you do that? <laughs>